<laughs> yeah, Jason's got the right thought there, especially if it's like Miami Beach and anything goes, <laughs> right? You may have heard the, the term farm to table when it comes to restaurant trends, but you and your family could have been enjoying farm to table nutrition your entire life in a glass. We are talking about the milk in your refrigerator, and Caitlin Packard is a Michigan dairy farmer here. Thanks to our friends at the United Dairy Industry of Michigan, what do we mean about farm to table in a glass? Um, in general, milk leaves the farm and is in your grocery store in a gallon within 48 hours. Really? Yep. So it really truly is farm to table. And here in Michigan, um, the milk that you're getting in the stores was from a farm here in Michigan. I believe it. Uh, tell us about your farm. Um, so uh, my farm is Horning Farms, my f family, and it's really awesome. I get to, it's a generational farm. I work with my dad and my grandpa, and my brother every day. So it's really enjoyable to have such a awesome family aspect to that. And uh, you guys don't drive each other crazy? Um, yes, like any family we do, <laughs> but we've learned to work through it. So we uh, we make it work. Well, what have you brought here today as uh, an example? I mean, we've got all these different pails. We've got some vegetable uh, oil here, some. Um, Mexican Coke with the, pain, the cane sugar in it. What, what are we looking at here? So um, in the pails is all different kinds of food that uh, we actually feed our cows on our farm. Um, so over here, okay, um, this over this pail here is actually what our cows ate are, are eating all day today. I picked this up this morning. This is what they're eating today. Well, what this, is it? It is, we, we call it kind of like a cow casserole. So it's all different ingredients that we use that are all mixed up um, together. So one of the big ingredients is, um, the biggest ingredient here is the corn silage, um, which is actually the whole corn stalk is chopped up. The leaves, the stalk, um, the kernel, the cob, everything. This is the biggest ingredient of what our cows are eating is this corn silage. It's every piece of that corn plant. Um, also, uh, there's lots of different ingredients and some of them that uh, I brought, some other ones that I brought today to talk about are what are called um, byproduct fees. Essentially, it's leftovers. So um, this one here looks like rabbit food. Yeah, it's <laughs> it does. It's actually um, it's called a canola meal pellet, and it's leftover from creating canola oil. So when you have the cooking oil that you're using at home, um, and you're actually cooking with, uh, there's actually leftovers from creating that product. And what's so awesome is they you we use these leftovers to feed our cows, so they can take something that we can't use as people mm -hmm. and they turn it into a great nutritious product that we can enjoy. This looks um, like a, I don't know, something that could come out of your dust buster. Like yeah, it's, it's actually called cotton seed and it's the leftovers. Um, it's the seed and then the small amount of cotton around it from cotton products from the clothes we wear. So um, cows can actually eat that. And, Get out of town. Yep, they, uh, it's a great source of fiber for them, a great source of protein. Um, it's a really nutritious uh, item for them to eat. Now this has a, an aroma, we'll it just does. leave it at that. Yeah. What is it? It doesn't so look that's, that great. No, it doesn't. It's actually um, leftover from uh, the high fructose corn syrup that you'll find in soda. And it's, um, so that's the leftovers from when they take corn and they create it into that corn sugar that you'll find in the soda. No kidding. So the, yep. you know, that's, and that's instructive because instead of being made with the high fructose corn syrup, this particular bottle is yep. from Mexico, it's got the real cane sugar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the typical day in the life of a dairy farmer? Um, there isn't one. There is no uh, typical day. We have the things that we need to do every day. We have to um, make sure to milk the cows, feed all the animals. Um, but uh, everything in between those um, scheduled tasks is always different, whether it be um, harvesting their food from the fields or this time of year we're actually planting those crops in the fields. Um, we are um, Sometimes things are broken, they need maintenance, fixing, all kinds. There's so many things to be done every day. It's never ending. So there is, that's what makes it really enjoyable to me is there is no typical day. It's always different. Do you have one of those rotating deals that the cow comes up and is it like, goes like that? No, we don't. We well, would, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. I know what you're talking about, the brushes that yeah. they can rub up against. We unfortunately don't. We've, we've talked about it, but um, it wasn't something we've gotten yet. All right. Yeah. Well, to learn more <laughs> about uh, Michigan's dairy farmers and to get great recipe ideas, visit the website milkmeansmore.org, milkmeansmore.org. Caitlin, thanks, good to see you. Yeah, nice meeting you. And you